Hello YouTubers, you're through to Lisa. Well, Crafts at Home with Lisa. You have to excuse me, I'm losing my voice a little bit. <coughs> oh. um, you're watching Lisa. I uh, hope you're all keeping well today. And um, most importantly, safe. So today I wanted to show you. I've been watching, doing a lot of research on doing pens and things like that and covering them. Um, so I thought, right, it's really naive me. I thought I'd just jump both, both feet and see what happens. And I really stupidly used a pen like this. Bad mistake. If you can see through it, it'll melt. So here's my first two attempts. I was very pleased with the patterns that went in. Let me just zoom you in a little bit. As you can see there, I'm very pleased with my patterns. Managed to get all my lines lined up. Put them in the oven for the Fimo time, for the Fimo, the, the clay time uh, manufacturers, which you should always stick to, um, as I mean, you never know what will happen. And then I took them out and they'd melted. Where they'd melted, they actually expanded and popped the, the clay. So that is rock hard look. Well, I can actually, I can peel it off um, and show you sort of that underneath. So that was one of these pens. Just a normal big biro. I took the end off there and I took the end off here so it was comp um, well, I left that one on actually just took the end out uh, the actual ink piece that runs through the middle and popped them in the oven and that was on a low heat and that's what happened so ladies and gentlemen we don't use those so since I'll just chuck them in the bin since then I thought right okay I'll have a go at some crochet hooks I'm a big big keen crocheter um, so I thought, right, I'll, I'll have a little go. So I managed to do a little handle like that. Now, I haven't top coated it or anything like that because I thought I wanted to show you how I put mine on and then what what it looks like with the um, the top coat. See how shiny it goes. Okay, so I've reconditioned my clay and I've got some colours, light pink, purple and dark pink. Well, dusky pink. Um, very pleased, popped it through the machine. I'll show you how in another video how I make my my colours. I'm not as um, organised, shall we say, as some of the other videos that are on here. I'm just terrible for join it. No, there's no niceties with me. I'm a bit on the slapdash side of things. Um, I haven't got time for um, <laughs> cutting them all out neatly and everything. So. I just sort of go and roll with the punches and this is what I come out with. So I've got my little 3.5 needle. Now due to my arthritis I can't actually use these because they're too thin. I can't hold on to them. So I thought what a better way to do it. Now that is much better. I have got a 0.5 um, which is extremely thin. My husband's put tape around the back of it because it digs into my hand um, and around the middle so it gives it a little bit of a handle. But what I might do in a different video or I'll show you in one of my other videos when I'm just about to uh, do some hours um, what it looks like. But this one's a 3mm three, three so this one's a 3.5 so I'm very pleased with this. Believe it or not it wasn't, ma it wasn't um, made out of the same colours but we'll, we'll go from there. Right, so this, I just put it in my pasta machine, got it going, um, added a couple of um, different powders, just to give it a bit of a sparkle. We all like a bit of sparkle, I'm terrible. Okay, so what we're going to do is, you don't want to go over the size, but what I did want to use is some of the flat part here to make it stick down this front bit here. Okay, so I'm going to go somewhere in the middle there because I want to use all of the same, you know, the variants of the colour. So in order to do that, I'm going to cut it there and I'm going to cut it there. Now this may not go according to plan because that's just the kind of look I have. And... I Obviously when you're flattening and rolling it out, it will stretch. 
so what you that's you're going to lose some of it I mean it's inevitable so we'll see how we get on okay now I don't want to cut all this bark because I can use this for something else and I really like the colors so I'm just going to take a piece out like so and then we're going to put this over here so we can keep it safe and then we're going to try from here right so we've got a bit of each colour actually I think the back is probably mm. yeah let's go for the back because you've got a little bit more of each colour on the back and we're going to lay it down on there like that which is perfect size but first before I do that I'm going to use some Fimo liquid clay because I want it to stick. Now don't use too much because what it'll end up doing is um, making it too sticky and it will just slide about all over the place so just put a little bit on and I'm just going to rub it in like so, get into the edges because it'll be the edges that you need to stick okay, so I'll just wipe my finger clear so now we've got Oh, there's a bit there, look I missed. You can see it when you hold it up to the light because it glistens like so it's like it looks like it's wet. There we go. Okay, so if you see that, there we go. You can see it just looks wet. If you feel like you've got too much on there then just scrape some more off. Okay, straighten that up. Now, generally, as a rule, you don't want it too thick because it will end up being hugely thick. If you don't want it that thick, then this is the way forward. Okay. Oh, I forgot I'd even done that. And I've just done it. So now I'm going to lay it on there, like so, and just push it down into it just a little bit. Now there's various ways you can do this, you can get a sausage and cut it and put it in and then join it again this way or you can make a pattern and cut slices and add slices to it which I found was great with the pens because it's thicker but not so much for the needles because they're so thin. Okay so what you want to do is just fold it over like a sandwich and tuck it in as you go. So we want to tuck that in as close to it as we can get like so and then just roll it a bit further I'm going to push that down a little bit more it won't matter if you thin it out towards the edge because you're not really going to see that because we're going to roll it okay so there we go so I've got a slim line down this side that I don't need so just get your blade and slice that off because that's just going to make it really thick down one edge and I don't need that so there we go so it's on looks pretty nice to me I'm sure you'll agree right now you can twist it you can do anything you want so the twisty pattern I quite like that like so now you're going to start by folding it around the ends you're going to cut those little bits off when you come to them and we're just going to fold it around and just gently don't worry about this end at the moment and don't worry about too much about this end at the moment so just make sure it's nice and smooth we're going to smooth it out in a moment so don't panic about that we're going to roll it but we're only going to roll it gently don't put too much pressure on it otherwise you'll end up a losing your pattern and b it will just get extremely thin okay so now i'm just going to give it a gentle roll you, you want ample amount of pressure on it to make it kind of stick and to get all rid of any lines but you want not too much pressure on it so that you lose your, your pattern okay so then with a blade I'm going to just cut around this bit here just fine like so and then we're going to discard that piece because that piece is actually stretched so then I squeeze with my fingers like a pinch in action both sides and just squeeze it round and that as you'll see when you're doing it actually it starts to stick okay 
if you're finding it's flexing again too much, just take the very edge of it. Just the very edge, that's all you want to take off. Because that's the bit that's gone thin and flexible. Okay, so see there, just the very edge I've taken off. Like so. Now obviously if you want them thicker, the handle, then you just make your clay thick and then in accordance to what you want is what you do. Now I found it easier to make it thicker to add them on as, um, so do a pattern, roll it into a sausage and then slice slices is the way forward because then you can kind of build it up in the areas that you want. Or if you're using like I'm doing at the moment, a very very thin needle you can make a sausage and you can push it down into it like that and that will work that way then you can get the majority of your size in first and then so like you, if you want a big handle here with a dip here and another big, big piece here that would work and you can get that sort of in place before you sort of carry on. Now if you wanted to dip in the middle, all you've got to do at this point is just run your finger around it like so and if you see there I've got the start of a dip. The trouble is it's not going to work too well because our clay is very thin that we've used. So just bear that in mind. If you want to do patterns and things like that in it then you you will need to make your clay, your clay a little bit thicker. Okay so down this end now look there's nothing in that end so I'm just going to nip that off there. Now that's a bit of a, um, it might be the end of the needle, you might hit the needle or whichever way you, I mean it's just potluck on that bit. And then you're just going to fold the end in just gently, just sweeping it in. Now if you want a rounded end on the end, you can have a rounded end or you can have a flat end. I like the flatter end, It's. it's I think it feels neater to me and a rounded end. But if you can see that, how lovely that is now. Try and get rid of any lumps and bumps, like so. And then I just push mine flat on the on the, the tile. Now it shouldn't make too much because it's not that thick. And there you have a nice, nice flat end to it, if you can see that. Lovely. Right, so that is actually now done. I'm going to leave that that lump in there, or dip in there that I've made, because I don't know, I quite like it, and it's not. Oh, sorry, it's not something that I've ever put in one before, so we'll give it a go. And obviously, it's not going to be massively um, noticeable, but it will be noticeable. And the other thing is, when you're doing it, check it, hold it, see if it feels all right, and that does actually feel okay for me. Um, so that is that one done. So it's now ready for the oven. Let's go around make sure there's no um, lines or anything like that on it. Which I think this is pretty good. And there you go. So that one's finished, ready for the oven. So I'll just pop that to one side over there. Now what I have got now is a big lump of clay. I allowed my daughter to come and play in my bedroom with my craft stuff. My clay, she's terrible, she's eight. She definitely has my flair. She loves it. And this is the colour I got left with. So I have a large quantity of this. So what I wanted to do was, oh, that's the one that's been done. There it is. So I'm going to stick the end of my crochet hook into it so it, it holds it upright. If you can see like that. Right, let me zoom you out a little bit. Like that is basically what we wanted. So I pushed it down quite hard onto the tile because I don't want it to move. And the reason for this is because I want to coat it with a top coat, my Fimo top coat. Okay. Oh. It was all skin like as well after a while. And I only opened that yesterday. I guess it just dries out as normal. Um, this stuff I found that I've had some really lovely results with this. So it is, I do recommend it. So I want a um, brush that's not going to be too thick. It's not going to be too big because it's quite small. So I'm just going to use this one, nothing special. Actually, let's take it off there. And I'm just going to tip it sideways. I'm going to zoom you in now. Okay. 
I'm my little camera catch up. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stick it on the side there like that. I don't know if that's in focus. Oh yes it is. Okay, and I'm just gonna apply it. Now I usually put two to three coats on one piece. I'm not one for making things stretch, so I am terrible for kind of putting it all on. Now because we've dug it in a piece of clay, we can turn it as we need to. And this top coat, this is a gloss one. It, yeah, gloss varnish. Made by Fimo. It's really bringing out the colour in what I've done. So, again, like so. Look at that gold and that purple at that end, that's lovely. Really nice. Make sure you get right to the edges. As well, what this does is protects it and allows it to just gives it a little bit of protection when you keep handling certainly something like this and you're just constantly handling it it's over time gonna it's gonna wear naturally so but the good thing about this is you can just add more of this whenever you want to so there's no hard and fast rules about anything certainly not in in craft work so okay i'm just turning it as i go When I put it in the oven, I shall have to find something that I can dig it into other than clay. Because if I put the clay in the oven with it, it will go hard. And that's a massive waste of clay. So I'll find something else to dig it into. I might find a small piece of clay that is in my scrap pile. Everybody's got scrap clay. It comes in handy for all sorts. Okay. And with each coat you put on of this stuff this gloss it really does it it just looks amazing so if you can see that now oh where have I gone to take it back a bit now oh, if you can see look at the colors in that coming out absolutely beautiful so I should pop that in the oven and that'll just look pop that in the oven let that dry and then that will be ready for using. So I will end for now on this one. I'm very pleased with it. Looks great. So I will say last things left to say is thanks for watching. I do appreciate all my my followers. Um, do leave comments if you want to see something else. If you want to see something specifically in my clay work. Or I've got diamond art still to do with my old dog Harley um, and we've got the black glasses to do I will do them I just didn't want to sort of swamp you with with all dragon stuff and nothing else okay and there you have it ladies and gentlemen beautiful I'm just gonna let that dry and that'll be ready for use and it doesn't dry tacky at all so please hit that subscribe button and you'll not miss any other videos or anything like that that I do um, if you hit that bell and um, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon bye